Caleb, I'm sorry, but your chapter in this story is pretty much over until your son's old enough to seek you out. So I'm going to have to ask you to leave. It's really awkward because like in real life, if someone comes to your house and you don't want to talk to them, you just don't answer. Well, we have an open doorway. So he's like, I can see you in there. <laughs> Welcome back to the Ultimate Decades Challenge, episode 17. The year is 1346. And depending on how our roles go at the end of this episode, this could possibly be a tragic time. And I'll explain all of that when we get there. But for now, the dog we've doing? got our dog making a nuisance of himself and we should probably give him a bath. You know, it's it's funny because Wyatt is obviously the dad, but he's kind of taken over more of like a maternal role. Gleta is kind of more the garden keep. She does a lot of gardening. She does a lot of... Uh, if there's baby, she does breastfeed and stuff. But Wyatt does a lot of taking care of the kids. He does a lot of bathing the kids. And he pretty much always does the laundry. So <laughs> he's kind of like a matern- Oh, really? It started raining right when I was going to take it off the line. Are you serious? Anyway, he's he's definitely doing a lot of the household chores for us. Uh, we should probably pay more attention to our dog. Like, I kind of just adopted him and, like, forgot about him. Let's pet him. Let's play. Hug. Scare? Don't scare him. That's so mean. I don't, I need a potty bush. There's just too many people in here for one bathroom. It's killing me. Why it has reeled in a butterfly fish, an endangered protected species of fish. Keeping this fish is illegal and could result in consequences, but a less ethical fisherman might be tempted to keep such a rare and valuable specimen. I feel like White's the type of person who would, like, let it go. He respects nature, but also he's thinking of his family. And he's like, damn, I got five kids and a wife. And we're poor. And I need that that cash money. So he's going to catch it anyway. We're at seven, 18 out of 20. 18 out of 20. We're going to get his aspiration soon. How much is it worth? $26? Are Bruh. you kidding me? I broke the law for $26 freaking dollars. Also, did they even care about endangered species at this point in history? Like, I feel like they didn't even know what that was. Oh, he's training him to sit. Oh, we're one fish away from his aspiration. I'm just gonna watch him fish. I want to be here when he gets it. Here, is this it? Is this it? Come on. Yeah, don't be lying. <gasps> oh my gosh, wait. Okay, so I'm keeping it because this is gonna get us our aspiration. Yay! Yay! He got his aspiration! What did- what trait did he get from that? Angler's Tranquility. Sims with Angler's Tranquility will find that all of their problems seem to melt away when they are fishing. Aw, that's cute. It's time for Gleta to work on her aspirations. So we're going to travel into town again with uh, Dove. And we're going to check out what's at the market today. Actually, it might be closed. So we'll see. Actually, yeah, it probably is closed. But we'll go anyway. <laughs> Maybe we'll get lucky. Oh, it's still open. Wait, don't close it. Don't close. Do not close. Actually, no, wait. I think it's at this one. I think the cow plant berry would be at this stall. Hurry. I think it closes in seven minutes. <laughs> Oh, that's embarrassing. I forgot that if you get this bush or a bush like this and you have a dog, they will constantly go in it and they will constantly get be getting sprayed by skunks. And I'm not sure if I want to deal with that. So we'll see on the bush. I might delete it and just put another chamber pot out here in the shed or something because they're great unless you have a dog. Oh, why it's going to mentor her. Because he's a great fisherman, and she seems to really enjoy fishing, too. She, she's doing a lot better than the other two boys at it, too. She seems to catch a lot more stuff. Good afternoon, Agnes. How are you? Just looking for a cow plant berry, but no sign of a cow plant berry. Bummer. All right. Well, we're going to keep checking until we get it every day. Mm, it's late fall or no, it's not. It's early fall and I probably should do a better job at giving them like f like cold weather outfits because I didn't really 
do that. So, mm, yeah, let's actually do that right now. Also, Luna Sticks in the comments suggested that I should change my creative sim background to like be more historical. And so I found this one online. I forget who it's by, um, but I will link it in the description when I upload. But there's a bunch of really cool historical backgrounds by this creator. So yeah, I think it looks cool. But yeah, I think I I think I need to give everybody like a better um, cold weather outfit. At least socks, shoes, and a hat, right? Because I haven't been doing that. I've been pretty lazy when it comes to creative sim. There, everybody's ready for cold weather. All right, I'm just gonna pretend like it's not raining because it rains so much in this series that I can't do anything. So we're just gonna pretend it's not raining. We're gonna do all the regular things we would be doing. And if they get struck by lightning, they get struck by lightning. That's just the way it's gonna have to be. So that means gardening in the rain and uh, Caleb came over to help us, I guess, whatever. Into town to find the berry. Come on, give it to me. I don't care if it's raining. We gotta do this. Life must go on. It's not here. It's not. If I'm making homemade butter, I definitely need a butter churn, right? Give me that butter churn. Yeah. I'm gonna put it right here under the window. Why do you, what are you doing? If you're, if you're making butter, I don't think that's a step to making butter. All right, I'm immediately gonna send her into town because I want to look for this damn cow plant berry. And also I need to get eggs because it's a very important day today and we need to make a cake. Got cowberry jam, but we don't have cow plant berry. My goodness. Well, whatever. Um, but we do need eggs. Let's get them eggs. So she has just made a birthday cake. Whose birthday is it, you ask? It is Galetta and Wyatt's birthday. They will be aging up from a young adult to an adult today. And this is a really risky birthday because if they both die, I have no adults in the house to take care of my children. So I don't know what I will do in that situation. Maybe they have to go live in the orphanage. Maybe a nun comes to live with them. I don't know. So before we even celebrate and roll, I need to make sure that all of my immediate um, chores are finished. Um, because if only one survives, they're going to have a lot of stuff to do. So we're going to take care of the garden. Wyatt's finishing up the laundry. And then we will commence with the birthdays. All right, we're going to start with Wyatt. Happy birthday. In order for them to survive the transition from young adult to adult, they have to roll above a nine. So I'm not sure if nine counts. It says less than nine. So I'm thinking one through eight are death rolls and everything else is a safe roll. So let's do that. I am so nervous. So, okay, here we go. Nine or above for Wyatt to survive. Yes! At least we keep one parent. Okay, yes, we keep Wyatt. Okay, yes, thank God. Oh my God. All right, here we go. Happy birthday, Gleta. <gasps> right, above a nine, above a nine, nine or higher. No! Gleta! Oh, we have to kill her. Okay, well, we'll say that she got sick or something. I don't know. Okay, well... Well, this is scary now because next year, in 1347, Wyatt has to roll to see if he goes to war or not, so... Death by... Old age, I guess. Oh my god! I have to take pics for the thumbnail. Oh! <laughs> she just flopped. Should I put this in the thumbnail? It's kind of a spoiler. Maybe you should be my thumbnail. They lost their mom. That's so sad. I have to start a graveyard. Come on, Grim! 
I need to get some pictures. Oh no. Oh no! Oh! <gasps> oh! Oh my god. Oh, it was too late to plead. I can't. It's She's gone. Sheesh, that's a big tree. How about this one? There we go. Wait, I have to make it look like she was recently buried. Well, that's depressing. Um, oh, I forgot. There is one more thing we have to do. Um, so, he has survived, but we also have to roll to see how many more years he lives for. In later centuries, we, will, we won't do this roll until they're elders, but since the lifespan was shorter here, um, we're doing it now. So, how many more years do we have with our dearest Wyatt? Please be like 10 or something. At least 10, if not more. 13 years? Okay, I'll take it. We have 13 more years left with Wyatt. So I will put that on my spreadsheet. I have a spreadsheet of when all the birthdays are, so I don't forget. Unless the plague takes him sooner. Wyatt's gotta raise these kids all by himself. Why, uh, Wyatt Jr. will age up soon, but... I don't know about it, man. The plague is coming in two years. <laughs> she never got to plant her cow plant berry. That's the worst part. All right, and that's where I'm gonna leave us off with a very sad household. Rest in peace, Gleta. It's been a good 17 years with you, girl. But it's time to move on. See you next episode.